In this tutorial I want to show you some of the new features we have added to Infinite Pro. One thing is the Morphing Recorder, which uh, records a new uh, resource from the current setting of the Morpher. Um, you see here how the Morphing Point is modulated. So it, it moves from this uh, disharmonic uh, bell sound to the sawtooth. And also the digital filter here is recorded. And the balance, you see the balance is modulated. And this, this filter here. And um, we also record the intensity of these modulations here and the speed and um, it must be noted that everything from the main oscillator is recorded not not from the sub oscillator okay now let's see how how this actually works i start the recorder here and on the next key on event it records Okay, you see we got a very complex new resource now. Um, I can change the envelope a bit to see more uh, of the sound. Um, here this envelope only, only worked in this upper part. Okay, now, now we see more. If you uh, really want to hear only this resource without the other modulations, you can use the analyzer preset, which is a very simple preset which only plays one resource. And now if I select my new... Oh boy, what is... <laughs> uh, I think it is this one. Yes. Okay, now we see how this resource alone sounds. It seems to have a very high level, so I try to reduce that. I select all harmonics and uh, reduce the gain here. Okay, maybe that's how it really sounds. Yeah. Okay, I could use another uh, could make another test by uh, Turning off these modulations here, and also uh, change the the balance here a bit. You, know, you see, the balance here is modulated from this LFO. Okay, and I take this down. And I want to record this again. So you see, now it looks like this. So you see, this is a very powerful tool for creating new sounds. Okay, I think you got the idea. Another feature we have here in Infinite Pro is um, the possibility to use a 2D two-dimensional editing. 
Um, this has the advantage that we can use uh, all the harmonics here up to the 200s via the th 3D only um, makes the, the lower 50 harmonics uh, accessible. So we have the same features here. Just the, the difference is just that you see here in the lower part, you see only the one, the, the active track. While in the 3D you see everything at once, but... So this has uh, advantages also sometimes. Yeah. There's also another feature here, you can change the length of the sound. So now I decrease the number of frames. So if, if I have a very long recording, which is uh, which I, I don't need so long, I can save material and, and make it shorter and, and faster and so on. Uh, please note that these modifications have to be saved here in this uh, menu. You cannot you cannot em embed this in the preset like the other changes. Okay, that's that's it for now. Bye bye.